this video is going to go into how we can mass delete purchase orders. So I'm going to go into purchase order and I just have a source document for some of them just for sorting it. So if we want to delete a purchase order, we can only do that if it's in the canceled state. So if I go to delete, it's going to come up saying I need to cancel it first. And if I go into here and I can click cancel, but some people may have, say, a thousand purchase orders that they want to delete, and that would be very time consuming. So I'm going to show just a possible solution for that. I'm going to go into here and I'm going to open up Studio. I'm going to add in a checkbox right here. I'm just going to call it cancel. And I'm just going to make it a toggle because I like toggles. After that, I'm going to close this out. So I need to stay inside studio and we're going to set up an automated action for that. So we're going to go to automations and we're going to create one. It's on purchase order. We're just going to call it cancel. And we're going to specify that trigger is going to be on update. Trigger field will say is cancel. And we're going to apply it. when cancel is set. And now what we're going to do is in field, we're going to say status. We're going to keep this as value and we're going to add in that. So we're going to save this and I'll explain what I just did right there. If we close this out again, we go into here now we can see our button and when we do that it'll move into canceled state right there if we look at this we can see status and at the bottom of that is the option for cancel so that's the value that i just put in into our automated action now back in our rfqs i'm just going to select all three of those and I'm just going to export them real quick. We don't need any of this information. We just need cancel. I'm going to export that and you won't be able to see it, but it's going to pop up and we'll have a field in this case called X underscore studio underscore cancel and all those say false. So right now I'm just going to set them all to true. And once I save that, I can open our form back up and import them. And I'll test that. Everything seems valid. When I import that and just go back to test in source document, they're all in the status canceled now, and now I'll just be able to select them and hit cancel. So this can be very useful if you've got a lot of records that you need to get rid of. And again, it can be used not just in purchase, but in other models as well. The caveat to that is sometimes uh, records cannot be deleted if they have information with moving business data in them, such as a partially fulfilled receipt or has been partially billed. And as well, even if it hasn't and you've created, uh, say, those receipts, you still may have to go to uh, your inventory app and also delete those associated receipts, granted that nothing in them has happened yet. If they're just still in draft state, you'll be able to delete them. So your mileage may vary, but this can be a good tool for deleting those.